Okay. Off we go. All right. Ready, Angie? Rick will jump in when he gets on. I think we gotta get this part started. All right. We're gonna start off right here with a jumping jack right here. All right, arms up overhead. Okay. Yeah, totally forgot. It's like I thought today was, I don't know what I thought today was, Saturday. No lunch is included today. Two, one, and then we're gonna go deep lunges right and left right here. Side to side, pushing the shoulders down, leaning into the sides here. Good. Stretching out the back. Keep going. All right, now I just want you to take your arms and start to reach toward the toes, opposite direction. Getting a little deeper in there. Shifting your weight side to side. Good. Three, two, one. And now we're gonna go into a high knee right here into a butt kick. We're gonna start getting, this is a gentle one right here, okay? We're just warming up. We're not in our full circuit yet. Good. Keep going. Arms and legs moving. Beautiful. Woo. Waking up. Getting that blood moving. We're gonna try and kick up our weekend nice and strong here. Keep going, two, one, and then we're gonna go deep squat right here. And then we're gonna roll it up. Deep squat, and then rolling it back up. Really squeezing the glutes on the way back up. Trying to warm up the legs and our glutes and our back. Okay, now we're gonna flip this. And we're gonna start to just reach up and down right here, up and down. Getting a little bit deeper into the hips, getting a good stretch. Three, actually give me another 10 seconds on this one. And then we're gonna take this into a plank walkout. You've got about five seconds. Three, two, take a step back to the back of the mat. Walk it out right here, squeeze. And then come right back up. Stand up and squeeze. Okay. Good. And then back up. Squeeze. A couple more times here. And we're gonna be ready to get this Tabata party going. Three, two, one. Okay. Now we're just gonna shuffle right and left. Right here, we're gonna start picking up the pace. We're gonna go arms up and then arms to the side. Good, up and then to the side. Keeping the arms up and then not dropping them down. Just going to the side and then up. Good, all right. And then we're gonna wrap this up. We're just gonna take our hands up overhead and we're just gonna stretch up and over right here. Keep going. Another 10 seconds right here. Up and over. Big stretch. Point the toe. Come up and over the head. All right. Now we're going to take a rest right there. You're going to jog in place. We'll explain to you how we're going to start this. So we're going to start off today with our ankle banded moves. So you're going to take your Take your um, band and you're gonna put it around your ankles to get started out today. And then you're gonna accompany that with one of your weights, okay? And our first move up on deck today is gonna be a traveling squat. So it's a traveling squat sumo. So you're going out side to side. I need to actually pull this down. 
There we go. Okay. All right. So you're going to put your feet out wide and you're going to go traveling squat side to side. So one, two, and you're going to stay down nice and low right here. Okay. All right. Ready? And here we go. So we're going to go ankle banded side to side right here. I don't have my band down low enough. All right, so you're gonna get down really, really low. I'm going two shuffles to the side, and then I'm coming down. One, two, and then I'm coming down. Okay, holding the weight in front of you. One, two, coming down. Three, two, one, and then you're gonna take a break. All right, now you're gonna go into a full body move right here. Keep that band right where it is, but grab the mate weight on the other side, and you're gonna go into a plank row with a lift, okay? So you're gonna go row, row, lift, and lift, okay? So you got two things happening. Okay, here you go. All right, row, row, lift, and lift. So front, and front, then back and back. And you're gonna squeeze the glutes when you're going backwards. Back and back. Ooh, you're gonna feel this right away. Front, back and back. Two, one. Okay, now you're gonna stand up and you're just gonna grab one of those weights. And you're gonna go back to those ankle banded squats. Sumo squats, here you go. So you're gonna hold your weight and you're gonna go down to the side. So you're gonna do this funny little walk and you're gonna go side to side, working the outside of the legs. Squat, squat down, big wide squat, coming down. Woo! Okay, now when you come up, don't come all the way up. Come about three quarters up so that we keep the tension in the legs. One, and then I'm gonna come back down to the ground and get ready for round two, right here. Remember, we're in Tabata, so we go four rounds and pull and pull. Then we're gonna go lift and lift. Pull, pull, lift, lift. Now, I want you to check in on your hips. Are your hips locked down, pointing towards the floor? Woo. Not shifting. So when you're coming up, you're only squeezing the glutes. Try to keep those hips down, squeezing the abs. Lift and lift. Okay. Walk it forward. Grab those weights and get ready. And here we go. Okay. So we're coming down, walking to the side, nice and low. Coming down. Woo. All right, down, and then over to the other side, down, okay, all right, trying to stay low, don't hold your breath, breath might be high right now, there's a lot going on here, three, two, one, and then take a break, come down to the ground, all right, we're going back to these rows, and ankle lifts right here. So row and row, and then we lift, and then we lift. Woo! All right, we've got everything working here. And lift, all right, hold tight. I know you can do it. We're gonna be moving on to our next Tabata here in just a minute. So we're gonna try our best to stay super strong. One, and take a break right here. Jump it forward, say job, Jamie. Okay, grab your weight and get ready. You're gonna go side to side. All right, sumo squat right here. All right, down. Sumo squat and down. All right, staying nice and low. This should be our last round. Woo! Legs are feeling like jelly soon. Woo, between the lifts and the sumos, you got it. Chest up, all right. 
Try not to pull up. Collapse the chest down. Two, one. Take a break. And then you're gonna come down to the ground. Grab those weights. All right, get ready. And here you go. All right, row and row. Up and up. Okay, row and row. Lift and lift. All right, don't forget to squeeze those glutes. Okay, step, sweating. The sweats are real. Woo! Okay, it's not even heavy cardio, but it is working everything. Two, and then bring it forward. Okay, you gotta break. You're gonna get your water right here. 10 seconds up, right here. Okay, so our next move, what you're gonna do, you're going to put your, keep your ankle band, or ankle, uh, band around your ankle. What you're gonna do, you're gonna drop your weight. You're gonna go band, pulsing, and then two little hops right there. So you're gonna pulse twice, and then you're gonna hop twice. Ready? And here we go. Whoops, hold on. I don't want you to have cheated time. Okay, so down. So, oh, two, two squats and then two hops. So down, two, hop, two. Down, two, hop, two. Woo! Okay, a little bit different than sumos. So your feet are pointed forward. And you're going forward and you're putting in that cardio with the two halves and right here. All right, you're gonna take a break right there. All right, now you're gonna go into a calf raise. So you're gonna come up and you're gonna beat them up. You're gonna go forward with the arms, side with the arms while doing a calf raise. Okay, ready? Here we go. So this is move two, forward, inside. So if you haven't figured that out yet, now you know it's shoulders on the top, but we're working the calves and then we're working those legs and the quads on the bottom. Okay, front and side. Hold your abs, slight bend in the arm. We're good there. Three, two, one. Take a break right there. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna hold, drop the weight. We're going back to that cardio pulse right here. So we're gonna go squat pulse two, and then two hops. Two down, and then two out. Now, pay attention to where you're pushing against the outside. You should have good tension on the outside of that band so that you're really lighting up those legs with the bands. Good. Woo! Okay, two halves. Two, one, and then take a break right there. Okay, we're going back. Get those weights ready. Front and side raises right now. Okay, front and side right here. Front and side. Breathing and controlling your movements. You've got about 15 seconds. I'm feeling it my calves, especially with those bands. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and then you're gonna take a break right there. Okay, laying the weights down. Get ready, time to burn out our legs. Two, one, so. We're gonna squat two and then two hops. Two squats and then two air jumps right there. Two squats low, elbows to knees, and then two little hops. Okay, now you don't have to go up super high. If you're not a jumper on this one, you would be going up and up. Good. Three, two, one, and you take a break. Good job, Angie. You're crushing that one. All right. Okay. You've got your weights ready to go. And you're gonna come up and then side. 
These eights are starting to feel like 80. Whew. If you're feeling that way, then it's working. So we're working our upper body and our lower body at the same time as we keep that pressure on with the band. Front and side, hold your abs super tight. Two, one, and then you're gonna take a break right there. You got 10 seconds off and you're gonna get back into these legs. Get ready, two squats, two pulses. So two front squats, toes pointed forward, and then two air jumps. Okay, two down low, and then two jumps. Okay, keeping your chest up, the jumps are gonna make you go breathless, even if you're only doing two. You're gonna go breathless. That's okay. Keep breathing, keep your chest up. Okay, you got under 10 seconds, come on. Woo! Four, three, two, and one. Right there, okay. Okay. Oh, we got this. Grabbing those weights back. And here we go, okay. So we're going front and side now. Lots of repetitions here. So, if you felt like you cannot lift these weights up to your shoulder, drop the weight and grab something a little lower. That's okay. Just keep going. If you had to, drop everything and go body weight. I'd be happier with that. If we just keep on moving. Two, one, and then we're gonna take a break. Right there, okay. 10 seconds off. All right. So our next move, we're gonna get into our triceps. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ankle banded. We're keeping those around the ankles. We're gonna bring one foot back, elbows tucked in, and you're gonna push back into a tricep kickback. Two, one, and here you go, okay. So tricep kickbacks right here. Okay, now, if you wanna pick up the intensity here, you can kick back with a little bit of a jump in between. If you do not like the way that feels, just step it in and out, okay? Just keep your elbows in, woo! Okay, four, three, two, and then you take a break right there. Okay, now for your next move, I'm gonna tell you pick up something a little heavier. You're gonna take a step forward, lunge forward. You're gonna, whoops, sorry. You're gonna come up forward and down to the side and then down and then up. Okay, so one side, whoop, and if that doesn't work like you just did, kick your band off right there. Do it without the band. All right, mine just flew off too. Okay. All right, here we go. So down and up. Down and up. Same tender. Nope, alternating. One and then the other. Woo. Oh, Jamie, I think you're right. I did have that alternating. Okay, that's okay. Keep this one alternating. Next one, we'll isolate. All right, three, two, one. And then you're gonna take a break. Keep that band off for this step, please. Don't worry about the band. All right, get your triceps ready to burn out here. And you're gonna go back and back. Now, for sure, if you can, speed this up right here. Little tricep kickbacks. One, and then the other. If you don't wanna speed it up, control your movement. Stay nice and low and make sure that those elbows are tucked in. Five, four, three, two, and then you're gonna take a break right there, 10 seconds off, and we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go the other side, okay. This time, right side only, okay? All right, so you're gonna take a step back, and then you're gonna come up. All right, step back and twist, bring the knee up. Right side only. Okay, down and twist, and then lift. Woo! Okay, we're gonna keep breathing. Right here, you got less than 10 seconds. Burning out the 
the right side and the left. Two, one, take a break right there. Okay, all right, get ready. We need our triceps. Coming back, I'm grabbing lighter weights for triceps. And I'm gonna tuck the elbows. And then we're gonna go in, elbows in. And you're gonna push back and squeeze. I'm hopping in the middle. You do not have to hop it in the middle though. You can just step back right here. Okay, keep on breathing. You've got 10 seconds. Holding in those abs. Woo, stay low. Two, one, take a break. All right, left side turn. One weight. All right, three, two, one. Step it forward and then up. Step it forward, twist down and up. Forward and twist down and then up. Forward, twist down and lift up the leg. There's a lot of balance going on here. If you feel like you're tipping, you're coming by it honestly. Squeeze for an extra second. Up on top, grab your stability. Two, one, and then you're gonna take a break right there. 10 seconds off, grabbing our weights back. Okay, you doing okay, Jane? Yep. Two, one, and here we go. Now, even if you wanna go tricep kickback, one, and then the other, that's okay. Especially if you're jumping it in between. Go ahead, one and two. But if you wanna go both, whoops, now I got it. I had to reset myself there. One and two. Woo. Just keep your elbows tucked in. Four, three, two, and then take a break. Okay, we're picking up our weight. We're gonna go back to the right side. And here we go. Okay, front step down, twist, press up. Front step down and twist. Okay, so right here, we are working the core. We're working the legs. We're working the shoulders. We've got everything. We've got the hamstrings in this. Good. Lower abs. Every time you lift that knee, it's lower abs. And then of course your balance. Good. Down and up. Two, one. You're gonna take a break. Right there, okay. Take a sip of water. It's your water break. Okay, we're gonna get ready here for our next circuit. Wow, all right. So we're gonna go into our next move here. We're gonna grab a medium weight. We're gonna go into a weighted jack. So arms above the head with one weight. And here we go, okay. So up and down, pressing up, feet coming out. Cardio and best right here. Pushing up. Now, if you don't want to push up, push forward. You can push forward. You can go one up and one forward. That works too. All right. So then you're getting chest and shoulders. Good. Good job, Angie. Two, one. Take a break right there. Okay. Now we're going to get back into these legs. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go squat down. One, two, three, four, stand up, and you're gonna lift the leg, all right? Okay, only one side, so pick one side. I'm gonna lift my right leg to start. Okay, get ready, and here we go. So come down, one, two, three, four, stand up, and lift, right back down. One, two, three, four, stand up, and lift. Okay, two, three, four, stand up, and lift. Woo! Two, three, four, stand up, and lift. And you're gonna take a break right there. Okay, now we're going back. Banded jumping. We're gonna drop one of those weights. Two, we're not banded. And <laughs> I totally forgot to you guys stick those bands back on. So for right now, we're just hitting Tabata. I'll still file this under Tabata, but 
You got some bands in the beginning. I don't want to break your rhythm. Keep going. Up and down right here. Woo! Up and down. Good job. All right. Four, three, two. You're going to take a break right here. All right, now we're going to the left side. So you're going to grab Nate Wade. Get ready. We're going down. Three, two, one. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Stand up. Up to the right. Or to the left. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. Down, up, to the left. Down. Punch. Two, three, four. Squat down. Up to the left. Okay. Two, three, four. Squat down. Up to the left. And then we're gonna set one right down. Get ready. Get your breath. Go right back into the jumping jacks. Overhead press. And here we go. All right, so we're going up and over. Right here. Up and over. Good job, Angie. Front and side, you reminded me. Thank you. She's going front and then up. So that she's working her chest as well as her shoulders. And then you've got your cardio moving. Okay, come on. We got 10 seconds. Right here. Keep going. Four, three, two. Take a break. Okay. We're gonna come back down. We've got 10 seconds. Okay, catch your breath. Coming down. And right here. Down. Punch. Two, three, four. Squat all the way down. Lift right. Squat down. Two, three, four. Squat down. Lift right. Okay. Woo! Okay. I don't know if his legs are burning. Mine are. My arms are burning like crazy. But I know we only have 10 seconds. So I'm going to give one more left. And we're going to take a break right there. And then I'm going to set one down. We're going to go back. Are you tripping sweat today? Woo, this is hard. Okay. <laughs> and up and down right here. Okay. So up and down. Forward and up. You've been holding weights for the entire workout. Banded for the first part. All weights for the second. We haven't really let it go. With the exception of just a couple that we went body weight for strength. So you are working really, really hard right now. Two, one, take a break. All right, we're going to the left. Okay, all right, so we're gonna get our punches ready. Two, one, and squat down. Punch, two, three, four. Squat down, lift to the left. Down, punch, two, three, four. Squat down, and lift now. All right, whatever you're at, I want you to drop a little lower this time. Lift up, squat down, drop it lower. Punching across, four, down, and lift. Okay, drop one of those weights. We're gonna go up in the air. Grab that weight, good job, game. Two, one, and lift. Oh man, you're putting me to shame. Is that an eight or a 12? Eight. Oh, okay. I dropped weight. Oh God. Oh, I know. You gotta, you gotta alternate. You can alternate heavier and lighter too. Okay, so up and out. All right. These overhead presses with the jack are killer. Two, one. Take a break. All right. Water time, water time. Please get some water. And we're gonna go into a bonus move here. Okay, so, whew. I'm gonna give you an extra couple seconds for some water while I demo this last move for ya. You're gonna put a weight or a band around your ankles right here, all right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it forward, one and two. This is a mountain climber right here. So you can do those slow or you can do those fast. All right, 
ready? And here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it in slow. For about 30 seconds, I'm just pulling it in. Right here, okay? Nice and slow. Pulling it down. Pulling in, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it in your abs. That tension in your abs. Now, if you're on a mat, be very careful. You're gonna slide if you're sweaty. Okay, all right, and if that band is rolling all over the place because you're sweaty, don't worry about it. All right, now, running it, whoop, mine is all over. I'm gonna kick it off right here, and I'm just gonna run it in, because I'm trying to run my mountain climbers in. If not, just stay nice and slow. If your band is not flying off you, run it in right here. Okay, woo, you know it's a sweaty day. When your band is flying off. Okay, four, three, two, and then take a break. Right here. Okay, all right, time for some water. And we're gonna go into some core. So, take a step. Let the heart rate come down. I'm gonna move my mat over to the front. You can see. Whew. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a really, really, really sweaty day. All right. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down. Whew. All right, we're gonna be starting off in our core today with just a basic crunch. So you're gonna lay down on the floor. We're gonna put our feet on the tabletop. You ready? All right, here we go. So feet up the tabletop, fingertips behind the head, and you're just gonna crunch up right here. Now, if you have the strength, go ahead and put those feet forward and pull out his feet. That means the heels are connected, the feet are extended, and you're coming out right here. Up and down, pushing that back against the floor, lower back against the floor. Four, three, two, and you're gonna bring the knees in right here. Just hold them in for just a second. And we're gonna go and we're gonna reach for our toes. So the toes go up, three, two, and now go ahead and start to reach. Side to side, right here. Okay, over and up. Now if you can, try not to let your shoulder blades touch the ground in between. You're just moving right up and over, right here. One side and then the other. Woo! Reaching toward the outside of the foot. Keep going. You've got less than 10 seconds right here. You can do it. Three, two, one. Bring them in right here. Okay, and now we're gonna flip over onto our side. Get some oblique work. We're gonna go elbow to knee right here. We're gonna go elbow and then extend out knee right here. Elbow to knee and then extend out. Okay, now I've got my knee down on the floor. If you're looking to up-level this, if you've been doing this for a little bit, and you wanna come up, and you wanna reach on a stacked situation, <laughs> then you can do that. If not, stay right where you are, knee down on the floor. Five, four, three, two, and now bring it right over to the other side. You're gonna go elbow to knee on the other side, right here. Okay, elbow the knee and extend it out right here. Elbow the knee. Okay, and if you want, if you're ready, elbow the knee up high. Keep going. We got about four moves left. We're gonna wrap this party up. Five, four, three, two. You're gonna bring it down. And then we're gonna go into some scissors right here. Coming down onto our back. Two, one, and we're gonna go scissors right here. Okay, so scissors in and out right here. Pushing it back against the floor. Raise your head back and shoulders up, and you're gonna feel a lot more control in your ability to push your lower back down and engage your abs. Elbows come up. Another 10 seconds. Come on, team. Squeeze those abs. Six. Five, four, three, two, and then you're gonna bring it in right here. 10 seconds off. All right, now we're gonna go 
back over to the side. But this time, we're gonna come up on our side. We're gonna roll it through and then up. Now you can do this one as well with a knee down on the ground. That's okay. Whatever it takes to stay stable and get that rotation in is what we're looking for. Up, follow your fingertips up, right here, and then back, and then up. You've got four, three, two, and then you're gonna roll it over to the other side, right over to the other side right here. Through and up, okay? Holding in the abs as tight as you possibly can, right here through and up. You've got less than 10 seconds right here. Woo! Okay, two, one. You're gonna take a break and we're gonna flip over onto our back and we're gonna work those obliques in the upper abs in a penguin. So you're gonna put your feet right at tabletop and you're just gonna go penguin. Now, if you've got a little bit more control over this move, Try to extend your feet out right here. And now you're gonna use your upper body to move side to side right here. Really using those abs to wiggle side to side. Woo, come on, Jane, you got it. Keep going, come on, Angie. We got this. Wiggle wobble. Do I dare date myself and tell you guys that I like the bug Mr. Popper's penguins? And I'm thinking about it right now. Huh. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna grab a weight and we're gonna go into some Russian twists. <laughs> if ever any of our teachers are re-watching the playback on that, they're going to laugh. I don't even know if they make the kids read that book anymore. It was like one of the only books I liked in school was Mr. Popper's Penguins. All right, keep going. All right. Woo! Big twist, dropping the weight down. Three, two, one. I'm gonna take a break. And our last move of the day is gonna be plank with a tap. So you're not moving your legs. You're coming up into a nice high plank and you're gonna go tap and tap. Now, lock down those hips, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs right here. So we're really working our abs over time. And we're keeping our hips super, super still. And we're just gonna tap, 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 tap. All right, we've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now it's time for cool down. So give me just a second here so I can turn on some Relax some music. All right, here we go. All right, so you're gonna lay down. You're gonna hold your legs in and you're just gonna rock from side to side, right here. Breathing, let's let the heart rate come down. Arms out to the side, drop your knees to the left and then look to the right. Just relaxing right here. Let everything relax. Try to take some deep breaths. Relax into the stretch. And we're gonna go to the other side. Drop your knees to the other side. Head goes to the left. Deep breath. Sink into the stretch. Awesome. All right, we're gonna stretch the glutes down here. So put one leg over the knee and you're gonna pull straight back. Lots of leg work today with those bands. And without the bands, we did a lot of strength and a lot of weights. So whether it was banded or not, about 50% banded. But regardless, gotta stretch those glutes. Good. All right, so we're gonna pull one leg back and drop one leg down, gentle pull back right here, holding on to the back of the calf, feeling that leg stretch, and then to the other side. All right, 
we're gonna stretch the abs. So we're gonna turn over onto our stomach right here. And we're gonna come onto our knees. First, we're gonna stretch the arms right here. We did a lot of work in the shoulders today, lots of presses, lots of lifts over to the other side. And then we're gonna come onto our stomach right here and get a good ab stretch right here. <laughs> up into a cobra right here. Drop the shoulders down. Lower. Walk the hands out and then push back up. All right, now you're gonna push back into a child pose right here. Just sink down. Good, now you're gonna push up into a down dog. You're gonna put your feet together, try to lower the heels down. And we're just gonna pedal the feet right here. And then you're gonna lift one of the legs up and you're gonna bring it through into that cobra that we love so much. Down. Just breathe it out here for just a minute. And then you're gonna push it right back up. And you're gonna lift the other leg and you're gonna bring this leg through, sinking it down. Beautiful. All right, now you're gonna come back up into the down dog position, but you're just gonna walk your hands and your feet forward. And then you're gonna turn to the front and grab your elbows right here and just hang. Good. You can turn to the left and then turn to the right. Trying to get some of that energy coming down toward our head. We're going to roll it back up here right now. Rolling it slow, 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 all the way up. And once you're up, all the way to the top, arms up overhead. Okay, you're going to take a step behind and you're gonna reach over right here. You're gonna feel everything stretch out on the side. Nice big stretch down. And then you're gonna go to the other side, take a step back and then reach up and over on the other side. Good. All right, now arms out to the side, bring one across. And then back behind the head. And then out. And then across. And then up behind the head. Nice pull right here. And then out to the side. And then two deep breaths. Pull it out. One more deep breath in. And blow it out. And we made it. All right.